Keep close. There are worse things than marauders in these lower tunnels. They have lurked these walls for decades, raised along with the city years ago. There. That is the artifact you seek. The circlet of Arkays. By taking it, Arkays' grave becomes an empty tomb. Let us depart. Anakatos has had his fun with me and there is nothing left to plunder. Be cautious in these lands. What is it? Thank you. 
Welcome back in. Well done, Beckoned. The stowaway is no more. Please take this as a token of Idilla's gratitude. If you found a task you wish to take on from the petition board and complete it, I will recompense you for your trouble. Well done, Beckoned. It is... Unfortunate that our surveyor died, but thank you for returning her report. Please take this. Well done, Beckoned. Thank you for returning these items. Please take this as a token of Idilla's gratitude. The gods are good to us. You must be the beckoned. Another day in this forsaken land. I can help repair your equipment. Return to me if your equipment requires repair. Farewell. Everything you need is here in the market. Must be the back. Blessings of peace. Almost complete. 
The foundation is gold, with runes of prayer, as I said. Now, it must be woven with blood and toil. The Colossi furnish the foundation, and nature furnishes the trappings. The laurels of the wreath are not crafted, but earned. We seek Terex veins. Once they are ours, once the wreath is complete, the ritual of atonement can begin. I take it you have encountered a Terex before. Likely the mongrel, carrion-eating scavengers that plague us. They are a common foe. We seek the veins of the Alpha Terex. They are fierce and proud. All that is wild and savage in nature. To prove to the gods the righteousness of our faith, then we must conquer a mighty foe. They will serve. Salvation awaits. Dogs are good to us. Anacotus walks among us, and the citizens are awed. This act seems small to you, Beckoned.
Here. That is good. I feel hope stirring in my veins once more. It is the prospect of reconciliation that has granted me a second youth. Come. We must kill the Alphas of each Eerie. With their veins in hand, we shall fulfill the gods' wishes. Very well, Beckoned. Feel my wrath! As we harvest these trophies, you shall learn the journey the Colossi have taken to get here. Once we were but savages, no better than the other giant kin. We were called Myru, and to that identity we were chained until one day, Athene spoke to us. She spoke of a destiny and greatness that was not ours but could be. She showed us the path of ascension, and we followed it here, to the teeth of Naros. Salvation. <laughs> Feel Balan's embrace! Balan's embrace. Feel Balan's embrace. Wandered the teeth of Naros. It was a divine. At the city's heart was the Hyperion itself. We must act.
feel Balon's embrace. Feel Balon's embrace. Embrace. <laughs> Feel my wrath. <laughs> Feel my wrath. City rose, but the Hyperion did not follow. The heart of the city remained unmoved. That we could not abide. My predecessor, Arches, sought to force the Hyperion up, but the Hyperion rejected him, killing him and his followers, and sealed itself away. Our work here is concluded. As a show of thanks, take this helm. Once reserved for our strongest fighters, it is only fitting you receive it. I must make the gods see that my people can be redeemed for the faults of Arches. With the wreath in hand, I can conduct a ritual of atonement. As you bear the cipher, the conduit to the gods, you will bear witness. Come. We must conduct this ceremony at the site of our original transgression. Let us go to the Hyperion. Very well, Beckoned. <laughs> Thank you.
You have come, good. We stand in a ground once hallowed beyond all things, now tainted by the excommunication of my people. Ever since that terrible day when arrogance and desperation brought about the disfavor of the gods, my followers have tended this place. Now come. We shall go to the antechamber of the Hyperion, the very spot where the sins of the Colossi were answered. Come, Beckoned. Much was ruined in that dark hour. The magics holding the paths together were unbound. Only the cipher can reorder such magics. Press ahead and set the path. Again, we find the way barred. I'm afraid I need your help once more. We have reached it. Beyond that stone is the Hyperion, the gift of the gods, the symbol of a covenant concluded. It rests out of reach, waiting for the day when the gods forgive our trespass, when they find us worthy again. Until now, I feared such a day would not come. We should begin. The gods visited this room once before. It seems only fit that you occupy their position. I will take my place where Arceus once stood. The end of this awaits.
Thank the gods. Praise be to them. After all this time, I bear witness to their confirmation. You have done so well, Beckoned, to bring the cipher to me and to let me use its strength. With you, I can do what Arcas could not command the Hyperion. The gods have found my people unworthy of the gifts offered us. So, using the Hyperion, I will see Idilla destroyed. The wicked will be purged. And once the city falls, I will reforge the ruins in an image the gods find acceptable. I'm sorry, Beckon, but you must be a martyr for my cause. <laughs>
What has happened? Why are Anakatos' acolytes attacking us? What is he doing with the Hyperion? Destroy Idilla? No. That zealous fool! Have the loss of his gods driven him to such despair to use the Beckoned and the Cypher for such ends? We must make our way from this place. We cannot stop Anakatos from here. Take this shield. One of my soldiers dropped it when the Silent Choir ambushed us. I hope it protects you better. Very well. Is it? Anakatos has sealed himself in with the Hyperion, and his silent choir will lay down their lives for him. I... I do not know what to do, Beckoned. I have defended my people from beasts and disasters, but nothing like this. Of course, I will not let Anakatos destroy my people because he believes the gods demand it. 
I know we have the strength we need inside of us, despite his claims. We are worth saving, even if the gods disagree. But Anakatos has sealed himself in the Hyperion antechamber. Without the cipher and knowledge of the Hyperion, we are lost. Anakatos was clever by exploiting your power. The cipher must be the key to unlocking the Hyperion, and he has broken it in his plan. But that is the one thing my people have been unable to do since we first came here. Only the Primos would know enough about the riddle for us to even try. Anakatos and his silent choir had a monastic retreat in the wilderness, Nixaros. If we need his knowledge, we best start our search there. Be cautious in these lands. <laughs> 